Nokia is making a strong showing with its Lumia device family here at the tail end of 2012, including some highly customized versions of its mid-range Lumia 820. Today, we're going to review one of them for Verizon Wireless. I'm Michael Fisher, this is Pocket Now, and this is our quick review of the Nokia Lumia 822. As we mentioned in our earlier hardware tour and comparison videos, this is a 142 gram, 11.2 millimeter thick device. That combination of relative lightweight and relative thickness gives it a toy-like feel in the hand, and that's exacerbated by these sheer sides and sharp edges. Its body reminds us of the plasticky feel of the Galaxy S3, but the added thickness actually helps it sit better in the hand. And the added roundness compared to T-Mobile's Lumia A10 variant means it's quite a comfortable device to hold, even if it occasionally feels and looks like a starter phone for preteens. In exchange for that aesthetic sacrifice, you get a removable battery cover and removable 1800 milliamp hour battery, as well as expandable micro SD storage to shore up the 16 gigs of internal memory. That's in addition to a dual core Qualcomm S4 CPU backed by a gig of RAM, an 8 megapixel camera, and LTE support for Verizon's 4G network. The 822's display is a 4.3-inch AMOLED panel that delivers excellent deep blacks and highly saturated colors in addition to impressive off-angle viewability. Its resolution is quite low, though, at 800 by 480 and that's only going to look fuzzier over time as higher resolution panels flood the market. In all, the Lumia 822 packs hardware that's perfectly capable of running Windows Phone 8 in a package that feels good in the hand, even if it does resemble a bar of soap. And the hardware runs Windows Phone 8 with the now familiar degree of silky smooth alacrity. Windows Phone 8 runs as well as its forerunner on every device we've tested it on, and the 822 is no exception. Verizon has loaded it with some of the usual bloatware, but the Windows Phone DataSense compression and maintenance utility is also here, which will make those on tight or cheap data plans happy. From day-to-day -day home screen scrolling with many updating live tiles, to browsing in Internet Explorer 10, to flying planes in Rise of Glory, performance is top-notch. If you took the differences in displays out of the equation, you'd be hard-pressed to tell the differences in software responsiveness between the A22 and a higher-end model, like the HTC 8X or the Lumia 920. Windows Phone is just that consistent. That consistent performance continued in our test period, with the 822 delivering well on the core tenets of the mobile phone experience. Calling was solid, both over earpiece and speakerphone, data speeds over Verizon's LTE network were speedy, and reception was up to par, and battery life was quite good. The 822 lasted 1 hour and 58 minutes on the WP Bench stress test. That's lower than the Lumia 920's score of 2 hours and 30 minutes, but the 822 was also a real champ on standby lasting over 25 hours with light use, even over LTE. As on the Lumia 810, the camera was an unexpected high point of the experience. Even though it doesn't have pure view branding or the optical image stabilization of the Lumia 920, the 822 shooter delivered good stills, especially when we made use of the scenes functionality in the photo settings menu. It's not a camera that automatically adjusts to every situation perfectly, but once you get used to using scene mode, it can deliver some really nice shots for a smartphone, especially in low light. The Lumia 822 is the first Nokia device on Verizon Wireless in quite some time, and it's part of a long overdue Windows Phone resurgence for the carrier. It may not have the good looks or pizzazz of the higher-end HTC 8X, and its screen is definitely yesterday's news, but it's the value-adding Nokia-exclusive apps and Nokia's build quality that make it a device to consider especially for Verizon's current $49.99 contract price. We give the Nokia Lumia 822 a 7 out of 10. This was our first quick review, and we hope you enjoyed it. If you want much more, including more screenshots, more sample photos, more device photos, benchmarks, and more, visit us on the full quick review post at pocketnow.com. If you want to follow us on Twitter so you don't miss anything, you should. Pocket Now Tweets is the official account. You can follow me. I'm at Captain Two Phones. That's Captain, the number two, phones. Leave us a thumbs up here on YouTube if you liked what you saw. Uh, throw us a comment on the post at pocketnow.com if you want to give us some feedback. And thanks very much for watching, as always. We'll see you next time.